Okay, hey everyone, what's up? So, I have been wanting to potty train little Walter. He's almost gonna be two. Um, it is, what, September 19th today, and he turns two on November 8th. So, I have been saying that I wanted him to get trained, um, potty trained before he turns two years old. And I've just been lagging it because it's been hard with the kids, and of course I was moving, and you know, it, it just gets, there's too much going on, so it's hard to like get him and sit down with him and make him stay there. But I finally started today. So I'm going to let you guys all in on some of the little tips that I saw or found or watched on YouTube. And hopefully we can get him potty trained within the next month. And let me just apologize for my hair real quick and I'm still in my pajamas. Um, we just woke up and of course, that's like the first, one of the main tips that I got for potty training when starting out is um, the first thing you do when you wake up, which obviously, obviously most people use the restroom right away. So they say to put the baby on the toilet as soon as they wake up and let them sit there until they have their first pee and their first poop. So Walter was trying to go pee. Well, he went pee. And he actually missed it went out on the floor. So if anybody has any um, pointers for how to get them to pee in the toilet, please let me know in the comments below. <laughs> because I didn't even think of that. But no, duh, it's going to come flying out unless he holds it down. So I don't know if maybe next time i should help him to hold it down or is there any other way to do it i'm not sure but let's still hope that the poop happens because if we can get that to go into the toilet that's good enough as you saw he already went pee and i kind of failed on that one because i wasn't thinking that obviously the pee is gonna fly off the toilet because he's sitting on it and he, he doesn't know to hold it down so I'm gonna try to have I'm gonna have to figure out some kind of tip or trick to get him to I guess hold it down himself. I don't I'm not sure off the top of my head right now what would work. But we're still waiting on him to do his first poop in the morning, which he usually does with, within the first 30 minutes. So we have been sitting here for about 10 minutes now. Um, and he still hasn't pooped yet, and I'll just show you his little setup again. Walter! Hi! So I have him sitting on his little toilet and he had some bananas in here and I also gave him a little pouch to eat while he waits and then we also have the TV going. So right now we just have, I think it's called Little Muppets and he's been watching that and he's been fine so far just chilling. Hey Papa! Who's gonna learn how to use the potty? Woohoo! He looks really excited, huh? All right, so anyways, that's our little setup I have for him right now. Um, I am hoping that we can get this before he turns two. And I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the little man. Hey, little Christopher. Oh, he smiled for the camera. Say hi. Little Christopher's been doing really well, too. He just um, started realizing that he has a little hand, so this hand he picks up a lot more and he'll put it right in front of his face and stare at it with his little eyes it's so sweet and I remember when Walter used to do that so it's very oh he had something to say about that and he's been eating on his finger he's actually been trying to suck on his thumb which um little Walter never did and I I've heard from so many different people that that can actually cause um their teeth to grow in like incorrectly so i gotta figure out how to stop him from doing that because he's been enjoying sucking on his thumb a lot lately okay so walter is still on the toilet um i need to get him some more snacks or something before he gets restless so i think i'm gonna go ahead and grab him one more pouch and maybe a couple of grapes and let him snack on that for right now while he's still sitting on the toilet um again i found these tips online i most of it i found on youtube because i'm always on youtube but um 
putting them on the toilet, letting them watch some TV, and making sure that they have some fun snacks. Um, usually, we'll keep them sitting on the toilet until they finally go, so I'm still crossing my fingers here. It's been about 15 minutes now, so we're going to keep waiting, check back with you guys in a few minutes, or unless he <clears throat> winds up going, then I'll check in sooner. Hey, Papa. All right, so I'm going to give him another pouch just in a second here. He finished all his other ones. He's excited about that. Oh, you're going to give it a hug for a second. I saw that. <laughs> I love you. Who's going pee pee in the pot day? Pee pee in the pot day. Pee pee in the pot day. By the way, you guys, this brand um, of pouches is my favorite. I find it at my uh, local grocery store. Um, it's a, a Sprouts Farmer's Market. And this brand is by Sprout, but it's not by the actual Farmer's Market. It just happens to have the same name as the market that I go to. But it's just, it's a brand on its own. Um, it's not associated with the store other than it's being sold by the store. But um, this one is called Sprout and it's, um, the little food pouches and I really like these ones because me and my husband kept doing research We wanted to make sure that our kids had like the healthiest and purest food um, That we could find out there and we were getting like, you know, whatever said organic But we started realizing that a lot of them had other stuff added added into it um, But this one literally will have whatever it says on the front. So this one has pear Kiwi peas and spinach and just a little bit of water added and that's all that it says in the ingredients so yeah, we really like the this brand and pretty much every single pouch is the same way It just has whatever it says is on the front and then it adds a little bit of uh, water and That's it. And that's literally all they need. They don't need to have like added citric acid or That was like the main other ingredient that we saw in other pouches But there's other ingredients as well that they put and they add in and it's just not really necessary so we like these ones the most and there are other brands that do the same thing like just add whatever it says is on it and then is in it and then um they add just a little bit of water but they you have to like w literally read every single um pouch ingredient list uh, pouches ingredient list because not all of them will be like that so it'll be like a few of them have it oh, have it just having whatever should be in there and then the other ones for some reason just want to add whatever random ingredient and poor walter's over here trying to sit and like go to the restroom and i'm over here filming and he's probably like what the hell <laughs> but anyways yeah that wasn't an ad or anything those are just my opinions and my husband's um but yeah we really like this brand and the baby loves like every single flavor from them so i i know not every kid is the same and there i'm not gonna lie there are i think like pumpkin he really does not like any of these pouches that have pumpkin mixed into it but for the most part he loves all of the pouches by that sprout brand so that's just a little helpful tip in case anyone was wondering <laughs> so walter recently is like teaching himself has been teaching himself how to screw back on the caps onto these pouches and i think it's so cute <laughs> he got it on there and he doesn't quite know how to take them off but he's figured out how to put them back on and that's cute. Good job, Papa! Woo! Look at him. <laughs> he didn't even screw it, but that was good enough. Uh oh! See, that's what happens when you don't screw it on right. <laughs> I love you, Papa. <laughs> hey, handsome. Hi, handsome boy. Hi. What's up? Oh, what was that? Uh, oh, bless you, Papa. Oh, bless you, Papa. Oh no, a third, a third sneeze. Oh no. Hey. Good morning. Oh no, another. Oh my goodness. That was so many sneezes. Oh, that's like six sneezes now. What the heck? Something getting you in the house, Papa? <laughs> I love you. I love you, sweet boy. I love you. 
Okay, so it's been a little over 15 minutes now. Um, and I just added a couple more snacks. I put some grapes here for him to snack on, which is one of his favorite snacks. So he's still just chilling. And we are still waiting for his poopy to come. And he is now watching Vampirina, which is one of his favorite shows to watch. Yeah, we're still waiting. And, you know, right now I was just thinking, I have like no idea what type of pull-up diapers to get for him. So if anybody has any suggestions, um, maybe there's a certain brand that you liked a lot better than a, another brand or... You know, maybe there's a brand that we should just totally stay away from because it sucks or, you know, whatever. Please let me know in the comments below because I just realized pretty soon I'm going to have to start buying him, like, pull-up diapers. Woohoo! Good job, Papa! You did poops! Alright, so I just checked his, the, in the back and he actually did poops. And I don't know if I want to show it on camera, but um, we're super excited. Papa, you went poops. Hey. He's still watching his little show. This is so awesome. It's, been, it's only the first day that we've actually tried to do this. So I'm so, so excited. He went pee pee and we kind of missed. So we're going to try to figure that out. But the poops went right into the toilet, which is so freaking awesome. Good job, Papa. I'm so proud of you. Good job! Hey, you made a party! You made a poo poo! You made a poo poo! You made a poo poo on the party! You made a poo poo! You made a poo poo! You made a poo poo on the party! I just wanted to say that we are so. Well, I am so excited. Um. I'm so glad that this worked right now and he knows that he did a good job because I got super excited when I noticed and I started clapping and saying, woohoo, you did it. And he started clapping. That's when I caught him on the camera clapping still. Um, I'm gonna continue this, um, doing this in the mornings. It's hard for me to tell when he's going throughout the day. There are some times when he'll make certain faces or noises and I can tell he's going poop so I can run him. But as far as like, but as far as him going pee, I'm just gonna have to, figure out i'm gonna look up some tricks and tips or if, an, if anybody has any tips or tricks that maybe worked for you guys or that you have heard of that worked for other people in the past please let me know in the comments below um oh the baby's crying i gotta go so yeah so we're just really excited over here i'm really happy it's only day one of actually trying to potty train him he's up now hey <laughs> um and actually when i i don't know if i mentioned this already but when i looked into the or when i was cleaning out the little toilet um he actually went pee again and it went into the toilet. So I think next time, I mean, I'm still gonna look up tips and tricks just in case, cause I might've just gotten lucky the second time he went um, pee. But I, after he peed the first time, I kind of like tucked in his private part more into the toilet so it would face down into the toilet. And I think that's what helped. Cause um, yeah, there was pee in there also. So first time we went pee and poop in the toilet and we are really excited over here but um yeah if you guys have any other questions comments um suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and of course don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and of course hit that bell button if you want to be alerted when i upload a new video but until next time um i'll talk to you guys later bye